What up, world? It's your boy, Mark Walter Ward, Super Facts Show, Super Facts Network. Um, the other day, I had the privilege of going to a Blood Raw listening session and uh, for, for his Hush project he's got coming out on the 21st. And there was a song with you. And at the end of this episode, I'm going to include the video. This young lady, Keisha K, who's joining us. How you doing, Keisha? How you doing? I'm good. Chilling, chilling. Um, it was her first time hearing the song. And he mentioned that because, like, he kind of introduced every song. So I sat there and I filmed your face. And when you heard your voice, the way it lit up, my wife was standing next to me. And it was just one of the most beautiful things I ever saw. And yeah. your performance was beautiful as well. So it was like it was like musical beauty squared. It was just a moment I'll never <laughs> forget. I'll, I'll never forget it. So so thank you. shout out to how good you did on the song. No, nah, thank you. Because like like I said, that that, that that was truly memorable. So I wanted, yeah. to do, I wanted to do an episode with you just off that to talk about that. But then, you know, I went down the rabbit hole and started listening to some of your music. And uh, can you please do me a favor? And uh, what, what's the name of your album, KKV1? Um, yeah, that's my Keisha K Volume 1. That was just like my mixtape of like, you, all the songs. Can you do me a favor? Because I'm going to post this on Dirty Glove Bastard, right? Uh -huh. And I'm going to post the album with it. But it's only, I don't know, if, I'm not gonna say it's only on Spotify. I listen to it on Spotify, but it's not on your SoundCloud, right? So when they, uh -huh. see, when they see it on Dirty Glove Bastard, I want them to be able to listen to it in case they don't subscribe to whatever music service I got up there. So if, if, you, if you could do that, because I, I really want people to hear that. Um, smoke Session, um, Please Stay is so fucking beautiful. Like, like it's just, it, it, it's just so, so... Like, 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 you got it, Ma. You, you, you can sing for real. Thank you. I've been singing since I was like a little girl. When did you realize that you could sing better than other people? Or, or how did you realize? Um, when my coach, I used to go to Copeland Park. I was basically raised in Copeland Park. And, like, uh, she heard me sing and she started putting me in front of our cheerleading squads and all the talent shows and stuff like that. And that's how I knew I kept saying for real, for real. <laughs> and then, like, you know, I don't know if you consider it as such, but, you know, on quite a few of your songs, to me, you're basically rapping a little bit. Yeah. So when I did you rap when, Oh, yeah, I, I agree. When, when did you realize you could rap? Um, I realized I can rap. My mama, she raised me on Tupac, so, like, I kind of already had the concept, but... It kind of came later on, like later on in my twenties. Got you. Raised when I started rake, making more music. Got you. Raised on Tupac. What's your favorite Tupac album? Um, Picture Me. Ro I don't know the album, but I just know the Picture Me Rolling. All um, eyes on me. All eyes on me. Um, what else it is? The uh, there's a lot. Thug Life, no, it's not Thug Life. <laughs> uh, thug Life. Thug Passion. Yeah, that, I heard it's the bomb. That's that. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's all on All Eyes on Me. Thug Life was actually a, a group with him and his stepbrother and another gentleman who I don't remember his name. The poor out of little yeah. liquor was Thug Life. Oh, stop. So, uh, okay, I'm sorry. That's my daughter. It's all good. My, my, my kids interrupt my Zooms all the time. <laughs> well, um back back to the please stay though like i said that was such a beautiful song did you write that yes and arrange it yeah like and it was it was me and the guy who made the beat his name is travis brooks um he he knows how to sing and he plays the piano so he kind of like um made the whole beat and i was kind of liking my feelings and stuff so we came up with it, and he told me how to who's and ahs and stuff like that. <laughs> Man, with skills like that, you need to start. You might, you might want. I, I, I ain't gonna tell you what you need to do, but uh, you, you might want to think about writing for people. Yeah, I never thought about that. Because <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, please stay. Ninety-five percent of people cannot write a song like that. You yeah, know, like, like I'm not trying to be hyperbolic. That that is a truly special piece of music. Thank you. It, it's like my that was like my first song I ever recorded. Got you. That so my first song. 
damn well shit you, you started out you start start off with a bang then yeah <laughs> yeah i gotta give the people people still play it and they want a video and stuff i didn't do any of that yet but i feel like i can um i'm gonna bring it back some type of way or bring it to life more because we would just sit here the audio oh when, when, let, let, let's say you know, when you quote unquote get on, people re remake uh, songs from before and 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 have made hits out of them. There's there's nothing yeah. wrong with that or nothing unusual about that. Uh, I want to change the subject for a minute though. Where'd you say you grew up at? Uh, Tampa, Florida, at Co like um, Copeland Park Recreation. Copeland Park. All right, so, so yeah. I, I I need your help. I'm a, my, my my wife family. We 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 from D.C. Right. My wife family <laughs> moved down here. And uh, we moved there to be with them to help them in their later years. Mm -hmm. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I live in Apollo Beach. It's uh, outside of Tampa, like near Ruskin. Yeah. And I, I I I lived in Houston before here. I lived in New York, and I lived in D.C. And I have not enjoyed Tampa very much at all. I like Ybor City a little bit. Um, yeah. I, I noticed that like hardly any musical acts come here. Or maybe if they yeah. do, I, I don't know where to where to find them at. They damn sure don't come to the Orpheum. I think since yeah. I've been here, I, since I've been here, like Post Malone came when when White oh. Iverson was out, and uh, Rich the Kid, and that's about it. So so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm curious, like where is I, I don't feel comfortable in, around like like in my neighborhood, motherfuckers is riding golf carts with Trump flags on them and shit. Like 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 <laughs> yeah. like, like like I I mean I. I, I ain't no Malibu's most wanted motherfucker. Like I ain't go to college. I ain't go to school with another white person until I went to a black college. So uh, right, wh yeah. where the fuck is the hood at, and where the fuck are the clubs that I can listen to decent music? Um, the clubs that be popping is basically like Club Sky. That's an Ebor whiskey. Um, it's an R and B night at Status. Um. It'd be a, it's, uh, where else? And I'm not, I'm not offending you. Or am I, I'm not trying to shit on Tampa. I just think I ain't been able to find the right Oh, no, no, nah, nah, I don't think that. It's just, like, the club, like, for the, for the hood, it, it happened at night. See? And th those are the clubs, those are the clubs, and many more. Um, Self-made ENT, that's a promotion uh, person, like, I know his name, but. They do promotions and stuff like that, and like like they bring a lot of big artists, like our like hip hop artists and stuff like that. So, you know, if you want to follow them, it's self made ent on Instagram. That's where you'll find a lot of the um, a lot of the um, hood activities. <laughs> that, that, that's why I've been looking for something like that. Something like that will will probably satisfy all my needs. That that's what's up. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. And uh, yeah. let, 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 let's finish up with this. Uh, what uh, other than that outstanding feature you have on Blood Raw's upcoming Hush project on December twenty first? Um, what 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 can we expect from you going forward? Um, right now, like as of right now, I'm dropping my first Christmas song ever. Um, that's twelve twenty, and coming up after that, you know what I'm saying, like. I'm just, I have a project that I work, I've been working on for a whole year. So I feel like now is kind of like the right time to drop that too. So the name of that um, project is named Capable. So, you know, and that's basically capable to do anything. You you gonna spell it with, you gonna spell it with a K? Yep. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> that's what's up. K is my favorite favorite letter that's my letter yeah, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that um and yeah. then and then last thing just uh like like um y'all can definitely find the music on spotify and all digital streaming platforms keisha k um what about what's your social my your social media my social media on uh, my instagram is at keisha k x2 and my Facebook is The Wick Princess, meaning um, that's my, basically my business page, but I also be on that page too. Um, and those are my only two right now. <laughs> I don't do nothing else. <laughs> Got you. What's the The Wick business? Um, basically, is how my hair is right now. Yeah. These are starter wigs. 
Kodak Black, you know what I'm saying? Spot them, got them, Julio, all the rappers who got those long, thick dregs, Hot Boy. That's Mozzie, got you. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do. Okay, I learned something new today. I didn't know that what, what that what that was called. In, in, in my day, you know, I, I was a, I, I spent many of my years living with a black family, and it was still like S curls and Jerry curl days. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah. I remember that they used to soak my hair in vinegar so it would uh it, it would kink up and give me braids. And this is like before <laughs> I, this is like before Allen Iverson, right? So yeah. was, I'm like the only white kid in school, and I got I got braids down to my waist, and and and, and, and they like ridiculously making fun of me. And then, and then Allen yeah. Iverson come along, and and, and everybody's like all, all the little girls like, can I do your hair? <laughs> yeah, they wanted to braid it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's um. Uh... That was my for, that was my foray into romance. Uh, uh, the, yeah. the, bra the braiding of the hair. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm I'm all bald and shit now. All this prison and shit, but uh, <laughs> I I ain't get my first haircut till I went to prison. Yeah. Yeah, true story. But yeah, that's, that's that. Up. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I met you. Um, this is my first time doing a video, like a video podcast, Zoom, whatever it is. I got to get used to this. <laughs> Oh, you so, did great. You did great. You're, 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 you're very personable. If you just keep being yourself and not, and not trying to think about how you're acting, you'll be fine. You already got it yeah. inside of you. Thank you. Just don't just don't get on that. I got to be a certain type of way and you'll be good forever because because you, yeah. you, you're definitely genuine. Yeah. Thank you. I, I really am. I'm, I'm raised by a dream of people. My mom, my, my aunties raised me. You know what I'm saying? Like I listen to my mom and I treat people how they're supposed to be treated. Because I want to be treated right. Word. And the go the, go love, the golden rule. Spread love here. <laughs> That's right. That's the golden rule. The law of abundance. Well, shit. Thank you so much for your time, and uh, I'll make sure to get the Christmas song up on Dirty Good Bastard, and, and stay in touch, and I'll keep supporting your career, and we can touch base down the road. Yeah. Thank you. Have me again. Oh, definitely, definitely. Like I said, thank you for your time, and uh, man, I'm so glad I got to hear your music. All right. Thank you for meeting me. To you. Bye. Take a light, peace.